Tesla is right now at the key resistance and this was also the level where I shorted Tesla when I came back from China last year. At the same time, it is near to the downsloping trend line that you see. Will Tesla be moving up, which is to do a bullish breakout, or will it continue to move down as what it did in the past? Well, if you are looking at trading at Tesla, but yet you don't want to wait until the US trading hours because later on, for example, uh, there will be this NFP, which is known to be market driving piece of news and you want to tap into Tesla price movement at this moment, what can you do? Now, the good news is that SoGen recently launched the US stocks DLCs. Okay, which means that you're able to trade into M7, Magnificent 7 uh, using DLCs. At this moment, as of 4th of October, SoGen launched three DLCs. One will be Tesla, the other one will be Apple, and the third will be Nvidia. So I'm going to go through uh, these DLCs as well as for this video to go through the technical of Tesla. There are three reasons why I think investors might be interested into US stocks DLCs. Number one is that you can tap into the price movement right now during the area zone. Uh, I remember that uh, during the 9-11 where the plane strike uh, World Trade Center, I was able to hedge into my existing long stocks portfolio because I was able to trade into the Singapore SGX futures. I know that by the time that when Singapore stock market is open, then the stock will plunge. It's something that I can do in the Asia zone and when the stock market is closed. Now, same thing for Tesla or any of the US stocks, then we are able to tap into the price movement in the Asia zone. How do we get the price quote? And is a price quote something that is liquid? Now, the good news is that during the after uh, market trading session, then we have the Blue Ocean platform that's quoting the price and it's one of the very liquid price platform here. So I have a screen cap of the price of Blue Ocean quoted during the trading hours, you can find that it is really very tight. And second thing is that if you take a look at what Sojourn is offering, so far as of today, the spread of the three uh, DLCs, they are kept at one tick, which means that when you buy and sell, let's say for example for Tesla, it's about $5 on the list price. Uh, at this moment, it's trading about 5 uh, Let me just check that. Tesla is trading for the long side is about 534 and the short side is about 518 uh, but you can see that the spread is one thick that means that it's 533 versus 534 or 517 versus 518 so the spread is tight third is that you don't need to convert the sing dollar into USD. Now, if you take a look at the dollar versus SGD price quote, those who change the dollar versus sing in let's say one year ago will find that if they need to change back the USD to sing, then they will be losing in the FX. So for DLCs, you don't need to change into US dollar. You are able to use sing dollar to tap into the opportunity of Tesla. Of course, that it is well known that Tesla right now is trading at two forty. If in order to buy 100 units of Tesla, you need 24,000 USD. But to buy into, let's say, 100 units of DLCs, then you don't need 24,000 USD. Okay, so what you need is that if you take a look at the current price, let's say it's 534 for the DLC long. So 534 multiplied by 100 units, then your exposure to Tesla is about $534. Let's say, for example, uh, in this particular trend line, you think that Tesla is going to hit up and you like to trade on the breakout, right? So rather than to buy the stock itself and you think that this could be just a short term price movement, then the the good thing is that you can do is to use DLCs because DLCs is great for short term price movement. You don't need to buy the stocks, but you could just use DLCs to gain exposure into the future price movement of Tesla stocks. OK, so let me just go through how you want to use the DLCs on Tesla. All right, so this is the price chart, which is the day price chart of Tesla. What it's showing right now is that price had a move up, but it's hitting into a resistance here. So this is your resistance. There is also another one more support, which is about 235. Okay, so this is the red line that I've drawn in here. Now, what this support 
means was that uh, when price moved up, it was in anticipation of robo taxi. That means that the market was thinking that hey, look, there could be good news coming in from robo taxi, and so the price was moving up. But technically, it hit into a resistance. Now, let's say for example, if the news on robo taxi is going to be bad. Right, and Tesla is going to move down, for example. Then, by closing below two hundred thirty-five, this would mean that the resistance is valid. Hence, all right, by closing below two hundred thirty-five, which is a support level, this will result in a bearish move for Tesla because those who anticipated that the robo taxi is going to bring in good news might be disappointed, and hence, you know, to sell their positions. Now, at the same time, we have earnings in Tesla, and the earnings in Tesla is about twenty-third of October. Now this means that this is likely to be going to be a huge impact news. Now let's assuming that you do want to hold the position through the earnings, then rather than to hold the stocks, you might want to minimize your exposure because the maximum loss of DLCs is the value of the DLCs. Let's say for example, if you buy the DLCs at five dollars and thirty four cents for the long side. And you bought a one hundred units, and the cost of this DLC will be three hundred and thirty-four Sing dollar. Of course, I haven't added in the commission plus the GST for this trade. But let's assuming that this is your cost of trading into the DLC for Tesla, then your maximum loss would be this amount here. So if you do want to tap into the earnings of Tesla, then you can use the DLCs instead of trading into the stocks. Now this is the current. A spread of Tesla short、uh, DLCs. Okay, so since morning has been trading already, the spread has been kept tight. For example, at this moment、uh, is doing about five twenty one to five twenty two. So this is a one tick spread.、Uh, of course, that the、uh, volume is starting to stream in because this is the first day of the listing. But we can see that short gen, which is the market maker, is providing the bid. That means that you do not have any problems of exiting your position. So this is the bid price of Tesla DLCs for the short side, the, and this is the ask price for the. Tesla DLCs. Say, for example, if you are bearish on Tesla, then what can you do? You can buy into the Tesla DLC short. Okay, so this is the quote for Tesla DLC short. So usually they will list out the name of the stocks plus how many times、uh, leverage for this particular DLCs and the direction and then expiry date. Okay, and this is the current price. Now, although that it seems expensive, which is now trading at sing dollar five point one eight, but it is cheap if it compared to, for example, the price of Tesla, which is now trading at two forty USD per shares. Going forward,、uh, so Gen will be offering, for example, Amazon,、uh, Microsoft, and the other. Uh, M7, which is magnificent seven stocks. To trade into DLCs, it is good to understand what DLCs is about.、Uh, very important is that Sotgen in the website offers a DLCs educational resources. You can browse through that. And to trade DLCs, you need to be SIP qualified. Now, if you have other videos that you want me to cover, other stocks you want me to talk about, remember to leave a comment in the comment section.